when I graduated from high school, I was already enrolled in college and I was planning on, on moving down to college that fall. So my aunt and uncle offered uh, you know, for me to come down and learn how to fly gliders that summer before I started college. And it was something that didn't really click in my head that I really could do until they really said, oh, you know, why don't you, why don't you come down and, and give it a try and, and come down and live with us and work with us. And it is kind of when the light bulb went on, when I first went down there, took my first flight in a glider, actually flying the airplane and learning and not just being a passenger. It was like going from seeing the world in black and white to seeing the world in color. I did a little bit of research and found out there's a school in Daytona Beach, Florida called Embry-Riddle that specializes in aviation. And I said, that sounds like a good way to move this along quicker. So it provided me with a very direct path to achieve my goals. When I gained enough time and was hired with ExpressJet Airlines, it was a really great way to learn about the industry and to gain Part 121 flying hours. But after about five years there, I decided that I wanted to see the world and I wanted to fly bigger airplanes, so I decided to apply at Atlas Air. I've been flying there for about seven months now, and we go all over the world, literally. Flying 747 as a first officer, it's been thrilling to, to fly it because I never thought that I'd get the chance to. Uh, but not only that, it's afforded me the opportunity to go experience cultures that I just wouldn't have had a chance to. I traveled more in my first month on the line at Atlas Air than I had in my entire life. And it's very fulfilling. It's definitely made me a more well-rounded aviator and a well-rounded person. I would tell somebody younger than I that there is a plethora of information out there available. AOPA, Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, the EAA Experimental Aircraft Association, they are very, very big into outreach and getting people involved in aviation that might not have originally done it. When I'm not flying professionally, on my off time, I really enjoy flying my own personal aircraft. My husband and I live on a flying community just south of Atlanta, Georgia. I love being home and I love where I live, and so hosting friends over for a dinner party or just a social gathering is something that I really, really love to do. In the next 10, 20 years, I hope to be a captain on a wide body jet flying internationally, but honestly, I would be just as happy being a flight instructor. Flying in aviation is completely woven into the fabric of my life and I couldn't imagine doing anything else.